Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to replace MacBook Pro early 2015 uh, Retina screen. Uh, I have a cracked screen here on the laptop. Um, so this is the new screen that I'm going to replace with. And I'd like to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. So this one here is A1398. It's a MacBook Pro. I think it's early or mid 2015. And this is a 15 inch uh, screen. So let's get started. The first thing first, you need to have a pantalope screwdriver. Um, I'll have all the tools then the screen where you can buy them on the description below. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the link where you can go uh, and, and buy those uh, tools to get this screen replaced. Uh, first thing first, you need to remove the back plate and using the pantalope screwdriver. Okay, once you have that removed, the next step, what you want to do uh, is to remove the plastic. I'll go ahead and disconnect the LCD connector. The next part is I'll be disconnecting the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Once you have that removed, you need a torque screwdriver. This is a torque T8. At this point, I'm going to leave the screen to about 90 degree. And you want to hold it. And remove the screw. So there are three screws, three screws on both sides that holds the hinges. Sorry about that, um, the UPS guy just came and I need to check him out. Okay, once you have all the six screws removed, uh, left and right, and come around here, you wanna get a different torque. This is a torque six screwdriver and you want to remove this this piece right here so 
sorry, it has to be a torque 5 screw driver. When you come back, I'm going to go ahead and do on the other side. And this is the piece that we want to remove. It is still holding on to the screen. Okay. Once you have that removed, you can detach the screen. The screen should just come right off easily. Okay, and this is the uh, the bad screen. I'll go ahead and replace with the new one. At this point here, you want to flip the hinges at about 90 degree. Okay, once you have that done, you like to try to join them back together. Once you have one corner in, you want to come back and do the next corner. Okay, once you have that in, go ahead and secure with one of the screw. Come back on the other side. There's a reason why I'm doing it on um, on this screw is because that um, you need to later on screw the the metal plate, these two metal plate on the uh, the hinges, like that. That's why I start off with this screw. So the reason why I put one screw in, so that I can close the screen and work when the laptop is flat. The next step is to put the remaining screw back on. Don't forget to put the uh, the clipper, and this one is actually using a torque five screwdriver. Once you have all the screws back on, I'll connect the cable, the LCD screen cable.
you can come back later on to just tape the uh, the Wi-Fi I think this is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connector so you can come back later and just tape it down properly but I just wanted to test if the screen works or not so I'm gonna come back and put the remaining screw back on but I just like to turn it on and show you guys and see how it works It works great. Uh, the screen looks good, and later on I can just peel off the the plastic. So this is looking good. And let me go ahead and shut it down. Well, if you have any question, uh, please comment below. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate. Uh, you know, hopefully this this video can can help you. Um, to go through step by step on how to replace the screen so uh, give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time